Hello, my name is Jay, and today we have a look at the GeForce GTX 2070 estimated benchmarks. And the good thing about these benchmarks is they usually are almost dead on, especially because, of course, the three models down from the top tier tend to pretty much line up with the top tier of the previous generation. So looking at this, we're actually able to calculate almost dead on accurate of what the 2070 will be capable of, what it will perform like, and I will be stopping at this card just simply because this is going to be the main important cards that are coming out. And I feel like, you know, it's after that, it's just kind of, looking at previous generations and that's really it. You can also check out the 2080 and then the 2080 Ti that I've also did estimated benchmarks for. But um, I really won't necessarily know 100% until we get there, but also keep in mind that the efficiency will definitely be a lot more uh, more efficient, less power draw, things like that, especially for a card that would have the similar power of a current 1080 Ti. So without farther ado, I've got the benchmarks and then stick around a little bit after as we talk about prices and of course the pricing behind the card and what the you know MSRP and stuff will be like around there. So looking at those benchmarks and of course what we've tested with the 1080 Ti and things like that, we're pretty much able to get complete 100% accuracy on these benchmarks. So the next thing that asks is how much is these cards going to cost? And depending on the card, assuming since this is a 1080 Ti, we can expect to see something anywhere up to the 10, current 1080 price, Ti prices down to the current um, 10 eh, 60-ish. It really does depend. Now, I also want to make a point in saying that the 1080 Ti cards currently will most likely go down. If you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of power efficiency, especially when these new cards roll out, all the miners will be definitely trying to get these new cards. And once they do, which may be given a couple months, we'll actually be able to find a good cheap couple cards and maybe even bring the 20 or the 1070s down uh, to a reasonable price that back down to MSRP, which they originally sold for, things like that. Now, getting new ones will be harder and harder to increasingly harder to find, but keep in mind though that m maybe if you're not only planning on having this card for five years up to you know two years, you really could get something that would last you and game well for you what you were doing. So without further ado, um, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you're interested, check out my other uh, videos on you know computer modding, things like that, and of course tech news. And I hope to see you around. And uh, consider subscribing. And uh, thank you for watching. If you liked, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Goodbye.